Okay, guys, after we uh, load the ink and do the head cleaning, it, uh, after we first turn to load the ink, then we can start to do another check print. Before we do not check print, please, we need to put a uh, wet paper or transparent film or glass at the table. And then we go to the top cover, we place, first we move the carriage off the home position. We can use it by software, we can also use it by the finger. So move the carriage, uh, move out of home position. Then we go to uh, first push down and then push up. Remember the sensor is from here and here, so all the media you want to do the te detect, you must move, this, move the material at this position, this line. Otherwise, the upper limit sensor will not working for, working for the material. So we move up, and it's better for we check by eyes, by eyes to check the gap between the print head and the media. And it's automatic stop. It's automatic stop. When, when the material gets detected by the upper limb sensor, we automatically stop. But for safety, we need to check by our eyes again. So be sure the gap between the material and print head surface is 2 mm, 2 millimeter. And you see the edge here maybe 3, but inside is only 2 because the inside of the, inside of the print head surface is a little bit small, uh, over, over, over the size than the front lever. So I'll be sure the gap is same, is except you about two or one million mm. Then we move back the carriage to home position. We can also press by finger. So back home position. And then we go to the software, we can go to print by any, or any position. So if we want to print on the front, we need to do the, we need to click on Y margin to zero. So, but if we want to print on any position, when the printer, when the material, when the table is here, you want to print just this position. You just click print directory. No need to click on the Y margin. Okay, then we go to the software and we, First, we set the margin for x and y. We put x margin by zero, print on the edge, and we put the y by 20 mm. Maximum here, the unit is millimeter, and here's also millimeter. So, put the two centimeter from the edge at the y axis. Then we go to text, and we choose head state print. Then print start print. And also, do not forget to turn on the UV lamp, the UV control box power, that will start to print. We click print, the print, the material go in, go in, and <coughs> the cache will then go to the zero position and start print. And then the margin is not enough, so we Bigger, bigger. We make it by Y margin by 20, uh, by 80. We try again. <coughs> okay, so now we can see the print result. Take it out. So we, let me take the camera, enlarge. We can see the print and result is coming. We can see KCM1 LCLM. So we can see the color is from left to right. K C M Y L C L M, and be sure all the color, all the nozzle, are print totally jet out. So if you get some lines without print, so you need to do the cleaning again. And at the front of the color is for white. 
here, put it on here, because this wet paper cannot see the wet ink, but you can see with light, you can see clearly this, the ink, the varnish, and the wet ink is coming. And, and here, uh, so this is varnish, this varnish, it's because varnish is transparent, we can also not see on the wet paper. And at the front of the wet ink here is for wet. Also one, two, three, four, six, six channel for wet, six channel for varnish. So for better to look, it's better to print on the transparent film or glass so you can see with light. And just be sure this varnish and this wet all are print as well as the color. So be sure it's working well, then we can start to print picture. If you cannot get good, not a check print, so the print quality and the color we are not original. And if you like some models not print, so maybe that means the print head is empty. So you need to do the head cleaning, load ink again, then do not check again to be sure the not a check print out with good quality.